Walk with me today in this very new week, the 15th day of November 2021, you are walking with Jesus. You see, it's a new week. And I would like to tell you that the battle of life, you should leave it for God. Our topic says, the battle is of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Chronicle 20 verse 15. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army for the battle is not yours, but Lord's. Hallelujah. I said, leave that thing that you think, oh, it's a new week. How can I cope? What's my stand? The battle is of the Lord. The Lord is a champion of war. He has never lost a battle and your battles are his battles. Amen. Sometimes a battle just comes out of nowhere in what you thought was a calm and serene emotional landscape. Suddenly, a person is cast into the midst of an out of control where fire of anger and hostility. Suddenly, you are faced with a battle against a spiritual enemy that took you completely by surprise. In our test, Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, found himself in a fight to survive. He didn't ask for it. He had done nothing to provoke it. But now, like it or not, he was forced to fight a battle. He prepared and no plan of action. Most time in the course of life, we will find ourselves in this situation whereby something will just hit us unexpectedly. Suddenly, that's when you will see people say, this thing just happened. I don't know how it happens because the enemy is always there. But when this kind of thing happen, Always be rest assured that our God who never loses any battle, never lost in any battle, is always there. That is when you should lift up your hands and say, Lord, this battle is not mine, but of you. And you will see our God who is great in battle show up to rescue you of whatsoever the enemy throw at you. Let me tell you, if God is your God, he will answer your prayers. The same way he answered Jehoshaphat, if God is your God, he will calm your storms. Hallelujah. If God, if you take him, hold on, hold on firmly on him, he will calm that stem. If God is your God, he will move that mountain, mountain of sickness, mountain of disease, that financial state that you think or thought it is, this is the end of the road. If he's your God, if you take him as your God, he will move that mountain for you. If God is your God, he will make smooth your valley if he is your God. Praise the Lord. If you hold him tight, if you take him as your God, whatsoever valley, that it is, no matter how deep it is. Hold him so strong, he will make that valley to be smooth and you will walk on a plain ground in the name of Jesus. If God is not your God, you will have to walk all of this out on your own. And with man, this is impossible. If he is not your God, he can become your gods today. Hallelujah. 
someone may ask how by trusting in and committing your life to his son, Jesus Christ. That is giving yourself to our Lord Jesus Christ. He will become your God. He is always ready. His hand is wide open to receive you as his own. And you, by that time, you wouldn't have to stress yourself or go through battles of life on your own, but he will always walk with you. The Bible says, if you will believe in your hearts and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. Hallelujah. Romans 10 verse 9 to 10. He said that if thou had confessed with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with mouth confession is made unto salvation. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Hallelujah. You can't even be saved without God. You can't be saved. There is no other name given to us that men should be saved except through Jesus Christ. With man, it is impossible, but not with God. Hallelujah. For with God, all things are possible. I urge you today, come to Jesus and watch him do the possible. Watch him do that thing you feel or think that is out of reach. Come to Jesus and he will give you rest. And the battles of life, he will take all of it upon himself. Praise the Lord. Let's take our prayers together. Say, dear Lord, I know there is no battle you can't win. As you help Jehoshaphat, so will you help me with all my life's battle. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have said that prayer, be rest assured that he is going to help you in every battle of life. Study. It's taken from John 1 verse 12 and John 14 verse 6. And then one year Bible study, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. God bless you.